Hello, in this step we're going to see how to use a guidable delta mush node to increase the resolution of our animated mesh from the previous steps. The method will increase the level of detail of our model by looking at a set of high resolution mesh samples. For the samples we're going to use high quality fax scans from a photogrammetry rig. Let's start with loading a neutral mesh. I'm going to drag and drop the neutral model into the graph editor. Next we need to load a sequence from the previous step of the processing. So, I'm going to go here to the guidable replace folder and drag and drop the sequence into the graph editor. Here you can see the result of the sequence. If I turn off the wireframe for a second, you can see that the result is pretty nice, but it lacks some fine skin details. The mesh that we will use for this sequence is not very dense and contains roughly 33,000 vertices. At the same time, since we have high resolution fax scans from the photogrammetry rig, we can wrap them with the same topology at a higher subdivision level, thus getting more details from the scans. For example, the L2 subdivision level will contain roughly 132,000 vertices. So, if we take a look at the L2 subdivision meshes, we can see that these models contain more skin details than our original L1 subdivision. When using a more advanced photogrammetry rig, you may have even more detailed meshes with L2, L3 or bigger subdivisions. What we can do is use the information from these high resolution models to increase the resolution of our animated mesh. Let's delete this node as we no longer need it. Then let's subdivide our animated mesh from the L1 to the L2 subdivision level. To do that, I'm going to use a subdivide geom node. We also need to subdivide our neutral mesh. So if I turn over the wireframe, you can see that the subdivision by itself does not create any new details. To generate high quality details for every frame of the sequence, we can use a guidable delta mush node. As the first input, we're going to plug in the current frame from the sequence. As the second input, we're going to plug in our neutral mesh. Then, we can go to the parameter tab and specify a set of high resolution meshes that are going to be used as training data. Note that these meshes should have the same topology and the same orientation as the node inputs. As the neutral mesh, I'm going to load in a neutral model at the L2 subdivision level. As the blend shape references, I'm also going to use high resolution fax expressions at L2. Once we specify these parameters, the node will take a moment to load all the data into memory. Now if you click Compute, the node will automatically predict the high resolution details for a given frame of the sequence. And here you can see the difference before and after, before and after the application of those details. So if we click Auto Compute and go to a different frame, You can see the details that have been added by using this technique. So, that's how it works. As the last step, I'm going to create a Save Vertices node.
Let's go ahead and create a folder. I'm going to call it guidable delta mush. And let's call the file frame for hashes.ply. If we compute this sequence in batch mode, we will see a result like this. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.